Today's quick five questions is on all things to do with carboxylic acids, alcohols and esters. So basically we're going to be practicing drawing them and naming them. And remember the best way to make use of these videos is to pause the video, have a go at drawing it and then seeing if your answer matches mine. So we're drawing methanoic acid, meth meaning that it contains one carbon. It's a carboxylic acid, which means it contains this functional group. So just complete the compound now. Make sure that carbon has four bonds. It has three at the moment, which is why we need to draw that final H. Double check oxygen has two bonds for each. Yes, it does. Hydrogen has one, so I know that this is correct. Question two, draw ethanol. Okay, so this time we have an alcohol, which means we have an OH functional group. We have eth, which means it's two carbons, so the final answer will look like this. Each carbon has four bonds, each hydrogen has one, each oxygen has two bonds, which is why this is ethanol. In the next quick fire question, I want you to name this compound that I've drawn. First of all, identify the functional group. It's a carboxylic acid. Next up, count how many carbons it has. It has three. Which is why the beginning part of this name is prop, according to the fact it has three carbons. The end is a carboxylic acid, which is why it's propanoic acid. Question four, we're being asked to draw two isomers of butanol. Lots of information here. This requires quite an in-depth chemistry knowledge. An isomer, first of all, is a compound with the same molecular formula, but different structural formula. Next up, butanol. Because it's but, it means it contains four carbons. Because it's got ol on the end, it's an alcohol, so it has an OH functional group. So let's try and formulate our isomers now. So we're going to do a straight chain here, and we're going to put that functional group on the first carbon. And just to make sure you're really clear, this is called butan one ol And that's because the OH is on the first carbon. To draw a second isomer now, so one with the same molecular formula but different structural formula, we're going to move that functional group over one. Make sure you've double-checked all your bonds as always. And this will therefore be butan 2 ol Moving on to esters now, so draw an equation for the reaction between methanol and ethanoic acid. So we're definitely forming an ester here because we've got an alcohol reacting with a carboxylic acid. And the second part of the question, name the ester produced. So looking first at methanol, meth meaning that it contains one carbon, ol meaning that it contains an OH functional group. So that's quite straightforward. It will look like this. So there's methanol. Ethanoic acid now. F meaning that it contains two carbons. It's anoic acid, which means it has this functional group. So let's just draw that now. Now notice when you're working out how to draw the ester, it's this chunk here that forms the water molecule and then effectively you stick the other two parts of the molecule together, which is why your ester form looks like this. This is difficult. Double check that all your oxygens have two bonds, all your carbons have four bonds, all your hydrogens have one bond, and obviously it's going to form water, and I've made a tiny error, it's a reversible reaction. So I'm just going to update that arrow. Let's name this particular compound. So remember, when you're forming the name of an ester, the first part of the name comes from the alcohol used, which is in this case methanol. So the first part of the ester's name is methyl. The second bit comes from the carboxylic acid. So the name of this ester is methyl ethanoate. In question six, draw an equation, because we're going to practice this further for the reaction of propanoic acid with ethanol. So similar thing, and we want to name the ester produced. So starting with propanoic acid, 
So I know that prop means it contains three carbons. Anoic acid means that it's the carboxylic acid with this functional group. Looking now at ethanol, F means it contains two carbons. Ol means it contains the alcohol functional group. So I'm ready to draw both reactants. So propanoic acid, first of all. Ethanol next. Reversible reaction again. In terms of which bits will pop off, it will be that bit and that bit to form water. Stick the remaining halves of the molecules together. Right, I've just moved it down a bit because I was running out of space. But it doesn't matter, I'm still completing it as I was before. So, there's the end. It's quite a big compound. We're producing water as before because it's a condensation reaction. Let's name it now. So, the alcohol provides the first part of the ester's name. We know that the alcohol was ethanol, so that's why it's ethyl. The carboxylic acid forms the second part of the name, so it's ethyl propanoate. And that is the name of your ester. And this here is the ester in question. Right, really hope you found that video helpful. I did decide to use the iPad because I thought it would be far more easy for you to see the structures if I used it like this. Don't forget to like and comment below if you want to see more similar videos. <laughs>